What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another 3D printer related video. That's right. In this box is a brand new 3D printer. Let's open it up and take a closer look. Well, I guess you figured it out. I got me a new resin printer. Uh, I picked up another AnyCubic. Uh, I have been using the AnyCubic Mono 4K, the Mono X 4K, for uh, several months and have not had any issues with it whatsoever. I'm, I'm perfectly pleased with it. AnyCubic is running a wonderful sale right now, so I pulled the trigger and I now have the uh, 6K. So uh, yeah, I'm uh, super excited for this. To show you, basically in a nutshell, I'm not gonna show you the prints. I'm just going, I had to unbox it because I'm getting ready to put it to use. And I just sort of wanted to show you guys what all you get. And also I wanted to tell you why I consider this one of the better resin printers. And, and it's because of what I've gained in my mono 4K back here behind me is, uh, and I'll show it to you here in a minute, but just to give you an example. So this is my mono 4K bed, right? This is the 6K bed. <laughs> yeah. So instead of me printing, uh, taking four or five, print cycles to print out some six scale armor, I literally can put all the armor on this single plate. So uh, yeah, I'm super stoked for that. So yeah, yeah there's huge difference, huge difference with, uh, with the build plates. So uh, I'm really excited for that. There's also a major difference in the tray itself. Um, this is uh, at least, it's probably close to three times the size of the uh, 4K, um, but that's fine. I'm okay with that. Uh, I'm really, really digging this a lot. And this is just gonna make life so much easier. Uh, this thing is very heavy duty. It's very sturdy. Actually, it's uh, metal designed to where the one with the mono uh, 4K is uh, plastic. So, uh, that's nice as well. It also comes with uh, a couple of key factors. Number one, um, you get your hood, which I'm gonna go ahead and take this off right now and uh, place it down here. Um, Any cubic also supplies you with a screen protector for your printer. And this is important because resin spills, leaks, anything like that. It, you do not want to get it on your screen. And so for any cubic to give you a, uh, a screen protector is awesome. Uh, I've still got mine on my uh, 4K back here. And uh, so definitely got to put one on the 6K. Also comes with uh, some uh, filters to uh, pour the, the resin out of the tray. Uh, that way it gets all the little particles out. Uh, you got a mask. Comes with uh, an awesome heavy duty uh, uh, putty knife. And uh, I've actually, I've got my uh, mine here from the 4K. And these are awesome. This is literally, and, and I've actually got a little bit of a bend in that one. Uh, these are great. This is uh, by far one of my favorite uh, putty knives. It, it does a great job getting the prints off. Uh, no, no issues there whatsoever. Uh, some of the other uh, accessories that come with the, the printer. Uh, let's see here. Screen protector accessories. We get a, a little squeegee for inside the tray here. So it's plastic. Very nice touch. Uh, we get some rubber gloves, which I doubt these will fit, but they may, you never know. Get a uh, thumb drive, which this is different than the one that uh, I had with my, or I got with my 4K. Uh, but there's also documentation, everything on the thumb drive as well. 
what else do we have in here? Uh, we've got a wireless uh, antenna. We have some set screws, very nice. Got another package here. Uh, got some uh, little set knobs. Okay, that's nice. And that actually is for the FET tray. And we have our Allen wrenches. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything that comes with it. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to get things set up and uh, put the screen protector on. And then I'm gonna show you the thing I love about this printer, hands down. It is awesome. So I'll be right back. All right, we're back. So I did not film putting the protective film on because to be honest with you, this is probably one of the most important steps that you really need to focus and take your times on, times, time on. Um, but it's simple. Uh, the instructions that come with it on how to do it, um, they're, they're very straightforward. You got a nice diagram. Uh, inside this pack here, you get an, uh, an alcohol wipe, you get a, uh, excuse me, alcohol wipe, you get a cleaning cloth, and you also get, uh, where did they go, some uh, stickers to get rid of dust. This is uh, what that looks like right there. So you have everything you need to uh, clean and prep. You won't get all the bubbles out. Um, you can get it the 99% of them out, but that's, that's fine. Um, but the one thing that I really love about the any cubic resin printers, uh, and the photon mono X six K is no different is leveling. This thing is amazing. Um, and, and I'll, I'll show you why. So number one on the build plate, you have four, four screws. There's no pivot, there's no nothing else. So it is this simple. So you loosen the screws, you slide this, once you loosen up the, uh, the top collar, slide that in place, snug it up. So you can see the bill plate is loose. You take the supplied leveling paper, place it right here on top, and basically you will click the home screen. So go into uh, tools and, oops, go back one. Move the Z and click the home. All right, so this is gonna come down and it's gonna basically, and that's the reason why you want these screws loose. You don't want it tight, you want it loose. So as you see, as it comes down, Da -da. lifts, drops back down one more time, and settles right there. Come in with your hand and just lightly press on the build plate and snug up the screws. And I usually go cross. Uh, I'll do a front and then a rear. Get them snug. Come over here. Again, light pressure, just to hold it in place while you're doing this. Almost. Now I'm gonna come in and give it a decent snug. Come over here. And last one. And I'm not cranking them. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm seriously not cranking them. So, now the bed is actually uh, leveled. So, and you can actually look on the instructions here. Um, step, this is step five, step six, click Z equals zero and confirm to save the zero position. So basically you click that setting Z equals zero, press enter, uh, setting okay, right, uh, raise platform now, enter. You're done. You're leveled. That's it. I mean, come on. <laughs> it does not get any easier than that. Uh, I do save this paper. I put it with the instructions. Um, so now we need to look at things as far as uh, 
you know, detection and things like that. So there's a detection button. You click that. Please set the exposure time of the test image. Da, da, da. Select an image, set the test time, click next. The curing screen should display a complete image as shown. All right, click next. Exposure right there. Okay. Boom. In that. To go back. We'll click on this one. This is a full, full UV. Everything looks good. Lights. And this is what you're testing right now. You're testing the exposures. Go back. Hit detection again. And boom. Doing the outer again. Nice. And that's it. You're, you're basically done with the... Uh, with the exposure test, so click back. That takes you back to the home screen. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to lift the bed. And you have uh, 0 0.1, one millimeter, and 10 millimeter. So we're gonna click that on 10 millimeters and I'm gonna raise, raise the bed a little bit because we still need to install some other stuff. But from, I mean, I guess that's the reason why I wanted you, you guys to see this video is not necessarily for the printing part. The printing part is something else, but I wanted to just basically show you it's not difficult to take one of these, uh, any cubic printers out of the box, put a protective film on it, level the bed, and you are ready. Only thing now, the only thing now we gotta do is uh, get a file, I got to do some rearranging back here and get it in place. Um, there is also the remote control feature. I, I definitely am going to look more into this, but uh, you can actually, uh, there's an AnyCubic 3D in the App Store. Uh, the, pr the printer and your smartphone must connect to the same network, then connect your printer to the AnyCubic app to control the printing, set printing parameters by your smartphone. Wow. And that antenna just basically screws in right here on the back, like so. Ah, let's see, we got our, our, our tray here, our resin tray. There is a protective film on it, but we also have its screws that we'll go ahead and unbag. And right there, voila, and they actually just drop in so no no major thing there i will say this on the um the mono 4k uh the screws are actually built into it this actually um that they, they're not also on this on these fed trays, there's little feet here so the tray itself this fep does not touch uh, there's also a protective film and i'm not going to i usually don't take this off until i'm actually ready to print but for this i actually want to show you guys uh how everything goes in uh on the back of the tray right here has the word max that's your max fill line on both ends and there's a little uh, funnel right there but we'll go ahead and take off the protective film oh that is so crystal clear all right get this in place Oh, that just locks right in. That is like easy breezy. Get this thing, get it secured. And again, on this, you don't you don't tighten it up crazy tight either. But uh, yeah, that's literally it. We're back home. We're ready to print. So um, what I'm gonna do is. Um, we're done with this video. Again, this was just something I wanted to show you guys what comes with the printer. And again, I bought this printer. Anycubic did not send it to me. Uh, I heard because they got a really good sale going on. I'll put links in the description and everything for that. If you're in the market for a resin printer, um, the Mono X6K, I can't tell you anything personally on it because this is brand new. The Mono 4K 
is amazing. And you can get that one well under $200. And I strongly recommend that is a good first resin printer. Yes, I know it is small. I get that. But I have printed a lot of things with this build plate. A lot of things. So don't, don't let this size here basically say, well, I, I, don't, I can't get that because it's not, it, it won't print enough. I understand that. Uh, I've been printing with this Mono K uh, 4K for uh, months, and I'm just now pulling the trigger to get the bigger one. Is this the bigger one, biggest one? No, it's not. This is the next step in evolution. I'm a firm believer in uh, going in steps. Uh, you know, I started with something that was less expensive just in case it's something I couldn't do. I didn't have a lot invested in it. I've been printing really successful with uh, this one, and I'm still going to keep using this one. Now it's time to move up. This was the logical next step for me. Um, I could have skipped this step and went straight to the Mac Daddy one, but to be honest with you, I just personally feel like this is the route to go. Again, if you've never resin printed, I'm a big believer in any cubic as your first resin printer. I bought both of these printers. I, every everything resin printing I purchased, any cubic has not sent me anything. Um, and I'm speaking to you from my experience. And don't jump deep into the rabbit hole right off the bat. I'm just saying, get get the 4K for like 160, 170 bucks. You don't have a ton invested in it. You can learn exposures. You can learn how to slice. You can learn all the little nuances uh, of printing with resin, curing, uh, things like that. Um, and I would recommend, like this one here was, I, I do believe it was $369 or $389. Great price. For this same price, you can get the uh, 4K and the wash and rinse station for about the same price. I do firmly believe in the, the rinse and cure station. That thing is great. I love that thing. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and start clearing things off, get this thing set up, get a file, start printing thing. Uh, if you don't follow me on social media, look in the description of the video and you'll see all the links because I will be posting some little YouTube shorts and some stuff to Instagram and TikTok and Facebook on this thing printing. Uh, I'm Once I actually print out a complete uh, project that I've got already uh, ready to go, I will uh, definitely do a uh, video on that, sort of a part B to show you the results of the Photon Mono X6K. But hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if this is your first time to my channel, do me a favor, consider hitting that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, make sure to turn notifications on. That way you'll know when I drop videos, when I do live streams, and uh, everything else related to my channel. And finally, please always remember, remember, printing things refreshes your soul. And I'll see you next time.